hello friends welcome to silon software in this uh, video we will uh, see one of the beautiful topic of uh, java object oriented programming that is how to design a class designing classes so i hope this uh, video will help for those who uh, are giving interviews those who are job aspirants so in this video i will uh, present i will give the clarity how to design a class about object constructors bootstring method so we will start so first of all i will design a class we know a java program is nothing but a class so everything we are doing inside a class a class is a non primitive data type a class is a user defined data type which fully defines an object we will see what exactly an object is so here i am using intelligent idea environment so one class 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 name so here my class name is type i have taken here the time the class time i have considered as public in java programming the keyword public private basically this is called as modifier so here the time a uh, class is public which uh, means it can be used in other classes the meaning of public is we can access this time class in also other classes so that's why the class time i have specified as public so now three data member i will take suppose let int hour int minute double second so basically this is called as instance variables whatever the variables we declare inside a class that is instance variables suppose this variables i will specify as private i will specify as private if i will not specify there is no problem but why private again there is a meaning so now i can say the variables hour minute second are private instance variables private instance variables so if i will consider this instance variables are pri as private so what it is representing the meaning is so this variable cope is within this class so what is the meaning this variable cannot be accessed by outside of the class so within this class we can manipulate we can access this instance variables because these are private instance variables so private instance variables help keep classes isolated from each other so that changes in one class 
will not require changes in other classes. It also simplifies what uh, other programmers need to know to use your classes. Basically, this kind of isolation is called as information hiding. Okay, so if I will not uh, consider as private, so in other classes also outside of the scope, we can access this uh, data member. Now, I will define constructors. Constructor is a special method. In Java programming, the class name and the constructor name must be same. The constructor executes automatically when an object is created. The constructor giving no return value. The purpose of constructor is to initialize the data members or objects. So, let it, I will define a constructor. Suppose I will write public type. Public is optional. If you, you can write public, there is no problem. So, this constructor basically it is called a zero arc construct. A zero arg construct. So, constructor is a method. So, the class name and the constructor name must be said in a program. When you see the method name is the class name that is a constructor. Purpose is to initialize a data member. Suppose I can write our equals to some value I will give. So directly I can write our equals to any value or I can write this dot our because my intention is in one example we will explain all the points. So my this topic because topic I have kept the topic name is designing classes. This dot hour suppose let this dot hour equals to zero. Let uh, this dot minute equals to zero. Hour is int type of variable. Minute is int type of variable. Second is a double type of variable. Suppose this dot second equals to 0, 0.0. Default value I provided. So basically this is called as what? Zero arg constructor. So this constructor does not take any arguments. Its line initializes an instance variables to zero. So what is this? This is a keyword which uh, refers directly to the current object. So when I will go to the object creation, at that time I will explain because object is a memory. An object containing class property. So whatever anything present inside a class, that is called as class property. So time class containing our minute and second this data members. So when I will take an object of time class, so that memory will contain this property, our minute and second. So this dot our, so this is instance variable. Our is instance variable. Minute is instance variable. Second is instance variable. Okay, so if I will create an object of time class, suppose I will uh, what uh, I will write main method public static void main string args, and if I will uh, declare an object 
let time time equals to new time okay so this is object creation that means object an object is a memory so memory allocated dynamically means with the help of a reference so this is called as what object so here so our value then minute there is another variable and second so this is our this is minute this is second and the value is zero value is zero value is 0, 0.0 because currently i told when an object is creating if the class is containing constructor the constructor will execute automatically okay so new class name so with the help of new operator basically new is a memory management operator so with the help of new operator a memory is locating this memory is allocating dynamically when a memory is locating with the help of a reference time if i will write time time so this is a reference if you will write time equals to new time so new class name that means with the help of this reference a memory is allocating with the help of a reference a memory is allocating so this memory is known as object and this memory basically we say it is a dynamic memory allocation this memory is known as object and it is containing what class property so inside the class we have three data members our minute and second so our minute and second so concept is saying when an object is created so constructor will execute automatically okay so this is the output then suppose i will add some things suppose i will add a parameterized constructor i will add a parameterized basically that is also called as value constructors this constructor is known as zero arg constructor so another constructor suppose if i want to add so i can write in this way public time so i will write i will take parameters the constructor which is taking parameters is known as parameterized constructor so i will uh, write int hour okay so int minute double second double second so instead of our you can write any you can take any variable int h int m double s there is no problem so in a parameterized constructor the constructor which is taking parameters is known as parameterized constructor or this constructor is also called as value constructors so in parameterized constructors you remember so instance variable equals to the local variables so if i will write our equals to our so compiler will confuse which is instance and which is local because currently i told the parameterized constructor concept is saying instance variable equals local variable this is local the variables which are declared inside a method so this is called as local variables so here instance and local variables exactly same then we can differentiate also using this keyword otherwise 
the compiler will confuse which is instance and which is local. So I will write this dot hour equals to hour, this uh, dot minute equals to minute, this dot second equals to second. In this way, I can represent or I can write. Okay. Now, in this way, I define parameterized constructor or this is also called as value constructors. Value constructors. Now, so currently, I was telling constructor execute automatically. So, when this parameterized constructor will execute, so one point I told, the constructor purpose is initializing data or initializing objects. Whatever the instance variable you have that is initializing or object is initializing. But actually object is a memory. Memory is not initializing. Inside the memory, whatever the data member that are initializing. So, in case of parameterized constructor, when uh, we will specify, when we will represent the value. So, at the time of creation of an object. So, here. So, now the time is the object of time class or time is which type of object? Time type of object. So, at the time of object creation, I will pass the value. Okay. So, suppose I will uh, write 10, suppose hours, comma, 58 minutes, suppose I will write 58.8 second, suppose, any value, suppose I presented, I specified. So, to invoke this constructor, definitely we have to provide arguments to the new, this, okay. So, what it is representing? this uh, representing word it is creating a time object okay and at the time of creation of an object we pass the value okay so now this person will execute okay 10 is the value of hour 58 is the value of a minute 58.8 is the value of second so this hour is this value is assigned to this dot hour. This minute value will assign into this dot minute. Similarly, second value will assign into this dot second. Okay, so in this way, suppose I will write this. So I hope everybody got clarity. So in this way, what I did, I am designing a class. Inside the class, we took three instance variables, but all three instance variables are private. One zero arg constructor we are defining. Similarly, one parameterized or value constructors we are defining. Then we will go to the next point. Getters and setters, a term, getter and setter methods. Suppose I will write here, suppose one output statement suppose i will write system dot out i will write time dot hour suppose time dot hour suppose uh, this line suppose i will consider in another class, suppose, let me suppose here, I will I will end this class and I will take another class, let time demo, suppose, 
okay so this part instance variables zero are constructor value constructor i kept in a class another class suppose i so time demo and main method and this is my object name okay then what i am trying i am trying to access one instance variable one property time dot hour okay and you see so if i will run okay time demo dot uh, min so definitely it will give error you see what the error is coming our has private access in com dot ceylon so since our is a private data member so from the beginning i told private property its scope is within class so that data member will access with inside the class that data member cannot access from outside of the class so that's why when i executed i got the error then how to resolve how to solve this problem if uh, directly if i will not uh, write private simply int hour then it can access if you write int hour so data member can be accessed by any other classes there is no problem so that's why there are many ways that i can resolve one way is make the instance variables as public okay so second of second way that we can provide getter and setter methods for example we might want the instance variables to read only that the code in other classes should be able to read but not the write read but not the write so we can do by providing one method getter getter so how to represent getter so there are two methods you remember getter getter get return type so that's a getter get triple x syntax in this way set triple x set return type setter getter means getting information setter means setting information so if i will uh, what uh, define getter and setter suppose i will define getter so nowadays every environment have some options of what for generating getter and setters also okay so it will be better directly we can write but now it is in eclipse environment or in this many various environments we can generate a getter and setter but so we are uh, what uh, starting from this point so it will be better that explicitly if you will write public return type is int so by taking this variable hour i will what uh, represent a method get hour in this way getter so return i can write hour this dot hour so i have taken hour is int type of variable so return type is int so that's why so return type int get hour okay so what it is returning this hour value so similarly for what minute for second i can write get hour get minute this dot minute then get second this dot second so guys this is called as what getter method so particularly why i am defining getter method instance variables are private 
so to get the information about that variable okay so here second is double type so return type is double double okay safe control s so in this way that getter method we defined okay methods like this this is also called as accessors also but commonly known as getters okay now so if you decide that the time demo class should also be able to modify the instance variable of time So, like getter, we can also setter method also. We can we can also we can offer represent like getter method set setter method is also we can write setter method meaning a setting information. So like getter, so what I told setter method. So set triple X. Similarly, I will write public let void set set our by taking our data member. I can create a method setter int our. So I will set this dot our equals to our. In this way, I will set the our value. So I will copy, I will paste, so set our similarly, set minute, so I can write uh, this dot minute equals to minute. Similarly, set second, so double second, I can write uh, this dot second equals to second. In this way also we can represent sector methods okay so instance variables we took two constructors also we defined that also we that point we knew and regarding getter and sector also we knew and we presented okay so now So, we will uh, what, uh, write some output statement. Okay, so here another new point I am bringing to our picture that is to string method. There is a method to string. Every object has a method called a two string method that is coming from object class, which is returning a string representation of the object. So now I will write system dot out dot frontal and time. Time is the object of time class. So what I told the new terminology. So I uh, what uh, I am bringing to our picture that is to string method. So what is the purpose? So to string method, it returns a string representation, a string representation of the object. To string method. 
every you remember every object has a method that method is a two string method it is a built in method coming from object class so when you display an object so for the objective when you display an object so using suppose print ln method print ln let it print ln method so what java will do java invokes the objects to string method okay so by default it is simply displays the type of the object i can write i am writing by default by default it what it will display it is simply it displays the type of the object type of the object and its address in hexadecimal format hexadecimal format okay so if i will uh, see so if i want to uh, print the object if i will run hit run you see the output is looking like this okay so what the output statement i wrote i wrote system dot out dot print and time time is the object of time class so if i want if uh, what i i wanted to print uh, the time object so this value is coming so currently that uh, point i told so internally what is happening java is invoking the object to string method so that's why this address value is coming to the picture in the form of output which is in hexadecimal format okay so what i will do now two string method we will define currently i told java is invoking a two string method so two string method coming from object class object class every in java programming you remember there is a class object there is a class name name of the class is object o is upper case this object class is the parent class of any user defined and enabled class suppose i will write class a now a is the child of object class so two string method is the property of object class so already two string method have been defined in object class but again when i will define two string method here that means that is considering as overridden method because parent class property child class property is exactly same this is the concept of inheritance method overriding so the property means here method is property two string method is already defined in object class same method again i am defining in time class so that's why i can say two string method now overridden method suppose i will write public since it is representing a string representation so i will consider return type is string two string method my objective is my intention is in one example in this video in one example we are acquainting with many terms okay instance variable constructors getters setters to string method private instance variable what it is representing what public is representing so in one example i am exploring every terminologies so to string method i define so definitely return type if i will take a string to return a string value 
so if i will write in a format way string there is a method format so automatically it is coming the syntax so within double quote otherwise directly you can write also okay first we see this dot uh, our this dot minute the value of minute this dot the second but since return type we have to consider a string so one string value so within double quotes we have to what uh, take a string representation okay so there is a built-in method name of the method is format that is the method of string class so i can write also format percentage so 0 to uh, d okay so int d for percentage d for int format specifier colon just i'm arranging i'm decoring percentage 0 to d colon uh, percentage 0 for floating because second is a double type of variable so 0 4 point 1 f for float okay slash for ends for new line so in this way just i am decoring actually one value suppose if i will give the hour value minute value and second value so it will uh, look in a particular format just we will see so now in this way two string method i defined then so this two string method okay again suppose i will run you see in a particular format it came because when my objective is so before two string method definition when i was printing the time value and address value i was getting and in the form of or in hexadecimal format so when two string method explicitly I defined now i wrote this output statement this output statement is what to print the object so when time is the object of time class so when i want to print the time value and i executed i got this value 10 colon 58 colon 58.8 in a format it is displayed because i have used format 10 hours 58 minutes 58.8 seconds so now after two string method definition when i printed the time value so internally what is what happened java is invoking a two string method that means time dot two string method so internally java did okay so as a result we got this output 10 hours 58 minute 58.8 second but 10 is the hour value 58 is the minute value 58.8 is the second value but our minute and second are private instance variables but this private instance variables how we access because time demo is another class this our minute and second I have taken inside a time class. So private data member scope is within its class. Then how I resolve means that value of our minute and second, how I accessed in another class. So this by taking our 
minute and second what i presented get or method and set or method okay you remember private data members if you want to access in another class so by taking that private data members you have to define getter and a setter methods getter method means getting information setter method means setting information by taking hour get hour set hour by taking minute get minute set minute by taking second get second set second in this way that you have to represent the getter and setter methods so my objective is this we will design a class now you see now it is a complete program and this program is what an object oriented program so my objective is this i defined a class i designed a class you see class time i designed a class taking data members hour minute and second but this data members i have considered as private private data members representing information hiding and constructors we presented getter method setter method we defined then bootstring method i defined but it is an overridden method you remember it is an overridden method because already this method available in object class again this method i am defining in time class now time is the child class of object class okay so to string method so java is invoking okay so when to string method i define now i printed the object value object is containing class property so that class property our minute and second that value i accessed when i what printed i wanted to print the value of time so instead of address value so we got our value minute value and second value so this is all about designing classes